about champagne, preserving the moment of making great food and having the season last just a little bit longer is as simple as two words. I can. It gives you a chance to capture freshness. You know, it gives you a chance to capture a moment, capture a season, capture your garden, capture memories. And that's the essence of, of of preserving food is that you're preserving something for later. You see, Todd and his wife Jordan preserve their memories by preserving food. They operate a small scale cannery along the central coast named Happy Girl Kitchen. It's a project that has been fermenting for years, you might say, as the couple first began with a small pickling business in the early 2000s. But soon after, they discovered the bounty of produce growing around them in Santa Cruz County and realized there was so much more food they could preserve. Shortly thereafter, they began making juices, sauerkrauts, jams, jellies, and anything they could, all from local produce. Produce like they get from Tom Bro's Live Earth Farm in Watsonville. This is it now. This is the peak. That's what I love about farming. You're always the one that can get it right off the plant and put it in your mouth. <laughs> Live Earth Farm is a small but extremely productive farm. Tom operates on about 80 acres and grows almost 50 different crops, from berries to peppers to tomatoes. Most of the produce goes into boxes and homes of Tom's 800 CSA or Community Supported Agriculture customers to enjoy. And after having met Todd on a farm nearly six years ago now, Tom has found the partnership has been fruitful in more ways than one. In the winter, of course, we can't just offer our um, hardy winter greens to members only and to kind of spice things up. We uh, approached Happy Girl Kitchen and wanted to see if they could preserve some of our summer bounty. It makes knowing, knowing the farm, seeing where it comes from, year after year and recognizing the, um, the consecutive years of quality behind what's being grown makes it really easy to express that to the customer when they're look, peering into the jar um, because when you can't taste it even you know a picture is worth a thousand words. So whether it's taking summer berries and turning them into jams or using tomatoes to make spicy juices if Tom grows it Todd will preserve it which in turn helps extend Tom's growing season and CSA business for a longer time. And it also helps Todd not only create new products, but also helps to create new friendships, new partnerships, and ultimately new communities. Everything is made from organic ingredients. It's hand-packed using traditional food preservation techniques. So we have ferments like kimchi and sauerkraut, which I can offer you a sample of. So this is our dry farm tomato juice, and it's just tomatoes and sea salt. Um, so you really can taste all of that deep, rich, robust flavor is from the tomatoes themselves. That's great. I don't like a lot of sugar in my jams, and that's why I love theirs so much. It's You really taste the fruit and not so much the sugar, and it's and it, it tastes like it was just picked fresh. It's fabulous. And I can't wait for, to try the apricot now. <laughs> so it's really exciting to, especially at this market where there's a lot of culinary appreciation and adventurism to give serving suggestions for people to make them think about how to use pickles, pickled vegetables, jams, all of the things we make in a different way. So when Tan isn't at the farm finding new ingredients for his products, he's teaching others how to do his job for him. When harvest season is over, you'll find Todd teaching classes to his growing fan base on pickling, fermenting, and preserving produce. It's very warm and very welcoming. I, I was thinking it was going to be more clinical kind of, and it isn't. I feel like I'm in someone's home and that they're teaching me something their grandmother taught them. Mm -hmm. I typically load the racks symmetrically so that there's no, you know, tipping. Well, throughout the year, we host workshops um, here at this gorgeous Victorian Oakland, and today's the pickle workshop. For us, we start, you know, we start with the spice infusion, and this is totally up to you. You know, we've created our recipes um, from, you know, from tradition and then, you know, <laughs> owing to the California mentality, let's try something new. These carrots are grown uh, by one of our favorite farms in the Santa Cruz Mountains, uh, Liver Farm. And, uh, 
You know, I'd consider them baby carrots. You know, ice cream's not just vanilla. Pickles are more than cucumbers. My grandmother used to can, and I remember as a child watching her can, and somehow it got lost. The, my parents didn't do it. They just said, forget it. You don't want to have anything to do with it. And it feels somehow um, a, a reconnection to her. They're not going to get better through canning. You can embellish them through spicing, but in fact, it's the, it's the core flavor that you're always going for. Not only successful, but it's been a real pleasure to be able to work with you know, Todd and Jordan, be able to see how they can you know, really produce a product that reflects the flavor and kind of the, what Live Earth Farm stands for, you know, and the story behind it. And I think people appreciate having a preserve that has, you know, the connection to the farm.